These are just a few of the daily moments I noticed at home when I actually stopped and paid attention. Being restricted to staying home and only able to go outside for up to an hour a day for exercise and essential things like shopping means finding photographic opportunities in new places. Being in isolation affords a great chance to exercise mindfulness and pay attention to the daily things that just would normally seem mundane. Things that make up your daily life. Maybe you are still working and you can look differently at the world that surrounds you, whether it's in your office or wherever you might spend most of your time. It's a great chance to study the light and all the little things and details that make up your environment. For a period earlier in the year, I was able to go outside to go and make photos and was able to document the quiet, often empty streets, whether it was just going for a walk in the neighborhood or going about daily activities. Before any major restrictions, I was able to document some of that surrounding world outside of my direct home environment. And it was interesting to pay attention to how that extended world was constantly changing and how it affected the people within it. There is so much we can see and create, even in isolation, if we just look hard enough. The way we all perceive the world around us will be unique to each and every one of us. The way you see it will be different to the way I do. And the way that we feel in those moments regarding the things that are around us and the way we perceive them can be injected into our photography or any other creative art. And I think this type of introspection can be great for creativity. Being in isolation can be like hitting a reset switch. You can use something like photography as an outlet to document your thoughts, your loved ones, your surroundings, even your pets. and any little daily detail that would normally go unnoticed. Maybe you can even use the chance to document yourself through self-portraiture. Someday, I know I'll look back at this little slice of my life and appreciate it on a different level to the way I do now. And I think that if you manage to document your isolation in some small way through some creative art form, you'll probably feel that appreciation somewhere down the track too. So I hope this little video inspires you to create and find more appreciation for the things in your environment, in your world, and the way you see them. That's all I really wanted to share with you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.